We're back now with our breaking coverage as demonstrations continue tonight in Memphis and across the country hours after the video was released showing Memphis police beating Tyree Nichols. Authorities there say security has been increased across their city. The ACLU of North Carolina released a statement saying in part the sheer brutality shown in the video once again proves how little progress has been made in preventing law enforcement officers from assaulting and killing black and brown people. They are joining the Nichols family calling for peaceful protest and Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s daughter reacting to the video in a tweet. She says, I know about tragedy in Memphis. My heart goes out to that city. ABC's M. Wynn is our reporter on the scene in Memphis tonight. M, I know uh, Chief Davis earlier today said there was no second thoughts about releasing this video. Very deliberate with the timing of releasing it tonight. She said on a Friday, kids were out of school, business owners going home. What's the mood there tonight? Yes, yeah, certainly. I mean, it's still a tense atmosphere here in Memphis. It is very brutal video that came out. Certainly the city is hurting after seeing this very disturbing video. Of course, there were four videos that were released in different aspects of different perspectives, some on city surveillance, some on body camera footage. And I'm sure if you've seen it, you've heard Ty Tyree Nichols calling out for his mom in one of the videos. Uh, the, the Nichols family saying that uh, it was one of his last words before his death three days later after that confrontation. Now, of course, we have talked to a few residents here in Memphis who tell me they respect the protests that are happening nationwide. They hope it'll lead to change. And if uh, the protests that are happening here in Memphis have been largely peaceful as well as places across the nation as well. And what kind of response are you hearing tonight from the police union there in Memphis and the fraternal order of police across the country? Yes, certainly the Nichols family and others have been pushing for the fraternal police uh, to, to go ahead and, and speak about this. We've heard from law enforcement across the nation also uh, talking about this video. The FBI director Christopher Ray saying that it was appalling to see. He said there wasn't a better word for it. Uh, we have heard from the Nichols family applauding, though, uh, the federal, uh, the state and the local a response after the incident that happened uh, earlier this month saying that there was swift actions. I do apologize about that sound, but saying that there was swift actions uh, by these authorities within just 20 days. Those officers were charged. Um, they say they hope this is a blueprint for a similar incidents in the future. Now, when we take a look at Washington, we've heard from President Biden as well, sitting down with the Nichols uh, family and vowing to push for police reform yet again. Again, pointing to the George Floyd uh, Act to say that in part some provisions um, could make uh, police departments better across the nation, in part also tackling the use of excessive force in police departments. Um, and then just another thing that we've heard right after the video came out, we heard from Shelby County uh, uh, Sheriff's Office. They said that there's now two deputies that are placed on leave after seeing that video. They said that the deputies were there in one of the scenes of the altercations between the five officers and Tyree Nichols. They said that that was cause for concern. They're placing them on leave at this time to find out whether or not they violated any policies. And being on the ground there in Memphis, you're hearing about things that are happening not just tonight, but tomorrow. Any activities planned for tomorrow in the Memphis area in light of these videos being released? I mean, certainly there's going to be uh, uproar from across the nation, whether or not they're going to be happening here. It's likely we'll probably see something, but as of right now, it doesn't seem like anything is scheduled relatively, as I said, peaceful. You know, I have heard from some business owners who said they were locking their doors early. They had contingency plans just in case things got out of hand. But again, nothing got out of hand. Everything was pretty calm tonight. All right. And our reporter on the scene in Memphis. And thank you. We'll look for your report.